Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft video. Uh, today I'm going to be touring my private survival world. This is, uh, just to let you guys know, this is not my Let's Play. This is, uh, my own world that I've never made a video on before. And I usually play in this world just for fun. And yeah, I thought that today I would give you a tour of it. Okay, first things first. So, uh, basically I started the world around here or something uh i'm not sure exactly where i spawned but i spawned around here so basically everything that i've built is around my like my uh natural spawn which is kind of nice and basically um when i started the world i kind of went over here like ar around over here i obviously got some trees and stuff then i built this tiny little shack which i have not expanded since then and yeah um i'll show you all this stuff later um i just want to show you kind of down here uh you saw this in the intro but basically uh there used to be a ladder to get down there but then i added this thing because it's way better so if you go down here then it kind of does that thing so now it is in uh go down mode again so basically it's for if i go up then it will be a uh, magma block again then over here uh these are my like original chests that i don't really use anymore so that's kind of why obviously they're empty and why i have all those and there's just some furnaces here too then over here is my main furnace area and yeah pretty self-explanatory it's not automated or anything i'm gonna make a super smelter later on uh i do have an iron farm which is why it, which explains all this and yeah these are just kind of all my chests you can take a look at the categories pause the video if you want and then there is some more categories in here I just don't have enough item frames to label all of them, and then those. And what is pretty cool is that I have this, uh, composting system. So if I just grab some wheat, for example, put that in here, then it, uh, composts it. It composts it underground, as you can hear there. And then it goes, um, through this thing. And then there is a dropper that, uh, or the bone meal goes through this thing, like, under, underground. Then there's a dropper that goes it up, makes it go up there, and then it ends up in the spoon meal chest. So I pretty much, all I have to do is just put whatever I want to compost in here, and then it's ready for me. Which is pretty cool. I also have an egg farm, which as you can see, produces lots of eggs. And there is a hopper. Um, you saw at the beginning, like, that chicken farm. Uh, all the hoppers from here to there are completely filled with eggs, so... Yeah, I'm kind of overrun with eggs. Then, as we work our way down here, there's a little brewing stand over there. Also, there's an enchantment area down there. There is, uh, my librarian. I have multiple at my village. I'll show you that later. And my farmer. I moved these two down here because these are my two main villagers. Because this guy has, uh, mending. And then, but down here, he's mending for cheaper. Which I didn't realize until, I don't know, not too long ago. Which I was really mad because I was wasting all my emeralds on this. And I could have been using that. I do have a cheaper... 14 emerald guy for mending but uh yeah then uh this is just space for more villagers then uh let's see over here is my b area and apparently that was being covered by the vine but uh yeah basically i expanded this recently it used to only go up to like here for like forever uh oh by the way uh in case you guys want to know i started this world at, i think the beginning of december and then I took a break for about a month um, in, like, mid-January. And then I came back to it in, like, mid-February. Anyway. Uh, yeah, that's my bee area. It was pretty self-explanatory. There's no, like, fancy contraptions in there or anything. Just campfires, bee nests, and then a little enclosure for them to be in. And there is a little two-way door thing to get in. Then, over here, is just some, like, little decorative wheat things. Uh, nothing too crazy going on there. Then over here, I will get to that area later. But first, I want to show you this area, actually. Uh, these are supposed to just going to be, like, decorative things. I'm going to put, like, glowstone here, and then I'll have to break the glowstone to get in. But this area doesn't lead to anything. But then the other one, that one, which is why I wanted to show you afterwards, leads to um, this area. This area. So, down here, this is just kind of a working chest. Um, It's temporary, though. It's going to look like this afterwards. Uh, there is a piston door here. So, what? Oh, there we go. And I'm stuck in the door. But then, if we wake her 
work our way over here. There's a infinite water spring. This is kind of just like a bunker slash extra area to my base because it's not really a bunker. Uh, but yeah. So this down here, I don't know why I said this like that. This down here is actually a bunker. Uh, it's kind of made of an iron box for my iron farm and stuff. And there's just some iron armor. I, I'm too cheap to make it out of diamonds. I don't have, I'm not super rich. But yeah, and there's just some random stuff in there. I'm going to actually put good stuff in there, like uh, equipment and stuff like that. Also, this is a 100% legit world. I have not cheated at all. I haven't even turned it to peaceful. It is on normal mode, though, just because I, I I, honestly really don't know why I kept, kept it on normal. But yeah, I've never even switched it to peaceful. I've only died once to an enderman, but that was like when I had like iron armor and stuff. But yeah, that's pretty much it for down there. But um, I'm planning to expand that way more. And uh, also let me know in the comments if you guys want to see an update video on this world. Like, I don't know, in a, a month or so. Uh, and yeah. Uh, so over here, uh, there's like some lanterns and there's this glass thing. And then I, I ran out of glass and then I was like, hey, you know what? I should put a fence here. And it kind of just worked out. So now it kind of just stops there. I still need to fill that in. And then, now there's a fence uh, with some lanterns on it. And there's this kind of weird waterfall thing. I didn't really know what to do here. So I just put this waterfall. I like it. I think it looks cool. Especially because it's in the jungle. And also, it, it's, it just looks cool for some reason. Uh, and up this stairway. Uh, this thing is completely fenced off. But um, there's a... You can't really see them right now. But there's like tons of tropical fish down here. It took me like an hour to get all these guys in here uh or not to get them in there but like to collect them and then bring them in here uh but yeah and then over here is going to kind of be like my uh like my soul speed path area so eventually i'm going to make like those if you don't know what they are they're basically like uh if you have depth strider and soul speed on your boots then um basically you can make it so they go or you go, um, swimming, like, you can go swim in a one block tall area, and you can, um, have dolphins grace if you trap some dolphins, and if you have soul soil under it, then you get all three effects at once. You get depth strider, soul speed, and dolphins grace, and then you go, like, a thousand blocks per second. It's even faster than boats on ice, and, yeah, it's just a really good way to travel, so I'm gonna, basically, this is, like, my, gonna be, like, my hub for, um, all those paths when I make them. It's also just kind of a cool little building. It was an Enderman. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it for that area. And I probably will expand that more uh, if I need to. Okay, so back up on the surface here, I just wanted to show you a couple of things. Um, or basically everything I built up here. So there is uh, this sugarcane farm. And basically... Um, it's pretty simple. All, all, what has to happen is obviously the sugar cane grows up, the observers detect it, the pistons push it, and then it goes down here. And uh, there is a hopper that leads to my storage system. And it's three layers tall right now. I'm still expanding it, but yeah. Then I might have to turn my sound even more down for this one. Uh, there is a chicken farm. And like I said, um, the hoppers leading all the way back to that chest are all backed up with eggs, see? Even the uh, even this one is. And it's not locked or anything. And as you can see, eggs are floating up there, even though there's hoppers there. So, yeah, don't really need that any, any more eggs. Uh, anyway, uh, moving on. This is kind of a statue I built. Um, yeah, pro it, it's a big fail failure. I'm not gonna keep it. I was gonna make him holding like a diamond, but that would look really weird because that's not how you hold diamonds in Minecraft. Uh, yeah. Then over here, I was planning to, and I might still make a, uh, like a, kind of like a city above the water. So this would be like the entrance. And then there would be like a whole city right here. Uh, I don't know. Kind of a cool idea. Uh, let's see. Then over here. See, so I covered that all that. Oh yeah, there is this hole here. This giant hole leading to nothing. Oh, I don't even think you can see the bottom. It can't. I have to turn up my render distance. Okay. That is better. But yeah, it goes all the way down to uh, Y-59. So that's kind of cool. 
Uh, and then there's some strip mines down there too. Infinite water source. Then um, over here is just a couple of farms. So wheat, carrot, wheat, carrot. And yeah, I do have a wheat field, but um, yeah. Then over here, I was gonna make this my main house, but I I kind of gave up on this thing. I don't think I'm gonna use it anymore. Cause I mean, look at how ugly this is. Like, why did I choose diorite for the the wall? Anyway, this was my bedroom. Oh, it was gonna be. This I think was was yeah. This leads upstairs. I don't know why I chose dark oak, but yeah, this is upstairs. There's not not much going on up here. And I think I tried to be a good builder and miserably failed, which is what whatever this is. Um, yeah, like. I don't know, I think this looks pretty ugly, to be to be honest. Uh, then, moving on, I do have a slime farm, which is how I got this bouncy castle. Uh, I almost never use it, because slime is so annoying. Another enderman. Uh, but yeah, like, as you can see, when you're walking on slime, like, not bouncing, look at how slow you go. Even when you're running, you're still so slow. But, um, yeah, I, I built this thing, and then I'd, like, never use it, but it's still kind of fun to have. And I might make... Or like layers and rooms and stuff in that. Uh, then over here, I have my uh metal, my automatic melon farm that is still a work in progress because I don't actually have a uh, minecart under here. I just started trying, or started figuring out where I need to lay down, lay down the tracks, and uh yeah, these are kind of like the main chests that like I'm gonna put everything in or not going to, but like I already have. Um, for my farm, this is a, uh, infinite cobblestone generator, and if you are wondering why, if I do this, why it isn't, like, burning in the lava, or, like, why, even if I go like this, this is a hopper under the lava here, and also this, um, is a really cool trick you can do, you can waterlog a stair, and it will still make cobblestone, so you don't have to worry about it ever making, getting rid of the water, um, not that that would be a big problem, but, I mean, like, if you, you could just get water around and stuff. But yeah, then all the cobblestone goes in here, and apparently I have a lot. And I have three double chests, but um, I kind of want to do what some people did, where basically, because if I have kid overnight, this pickaxe would break, or even another right one if it was full. Uh, so what I would want to do is make like an XP farm above here, and then the XP would just flow in, and then I would have mending on my pickaxe. And then while I was mining, the pickaxe would be getting repaired, so then it would never break. Uh, then over here is a, another chicken farm. I also have a cow farm too down here. And my turtle farm. And in here I have some scoots and stuff. Probably should take those out. Uh, but yeah. So this is kind of like a chest of everything I need in here. I have wheat to feed, um, I'm, I'm gonna put pigs and like sheep and stuff, but wheat to feed the cows. Seeds to feed the chickens, just eggs, um, to either throw out in there or just keep. Seed grass to feed the turtles and carrots to feed the pigs. And for some reason, I haven't had a turtle hatch in like forever, but yeah, ignore that. Uh, this is my cocoa bean farm. It's just a manual farm. Uh, there's really nothing fancy about it. I, I'm going to try to make a automatic one because you can, um, you can make it so it'll just give you seeds and then it, you'll hold down right click AFK, put something heavy on your mouse. And, and every time that it grows in a piston, uh, pushes it then you could uh, harvest it and then plant another one but yeah uh let's see i think that's pretty much it for over there okay so move kind of moving on from that area uh behind my house here um my failed house there is actually a uh ladder that goes down here and it leads to a mob farm and yeah this is kind of cool so i designed it myself which is why it's really slow but uh, mobs can come down these two chutes, and I can kind of show you. If I go back up here, there's basically it's basically just pads, and then if mobs walk off to the side, then they fall in into those uh, little chambers. So this is I kind of had to move this ladder, which is why this thing is here. But that is kind of basically what the mob farm is. So you can kind of see like this, and these are so spiders don't spawn. Uh, and yeah, so that's that. Okay, so coming over here, uh, basically, 
Uh, obviously that's my house, that's like my sugarcane farm, and my basin stuff. Uh, if we come over here, there is a wheat field over here, that's just a failed nether portal. And, um, uh, yeah, there's a wheat field over here. And I'm planning to make it way bigger, but for now, this is just how big it is. It's, it's still pretty decent in size. Um, but yeah. So that's kind of my wheat field, and then, if we come over here... There is my village over there. Okay, so at my village, there is also this thing called Bamboo Island, which uh, there's like a huge island over there. And my goal is to fill it the entire thing, every single block on the island with bamboo. Uh, I don't know, just kind of a fun random little project. And it kind of does look like I already got it filled in, but I've only done like the outer rim because it, like that it's a pretty big island. Uh, but yeah. So this is my village, and it is completely fenced off, um, and it's also completely lit up so no mobs can spawn, and obviously, with the new 1.18, uh, zero mob spawning, basically mobs only spawn at, like, level zero, so, like, normally in 1.17 this would be bad, but this is fine now. Uh, yeah, mobs cannot spawn in here at all. So, there's nothing in here. I used to have a mending villager in here, but that's the guy that I moved to my house. Uh, and here is my cow farm. There used to just be cows in here already made for me, and then I just kind of expanded that. Uh, then over here, this is my, uh, leads to my house. It's like a kind of like an underground tunnel that leads all the way back over there. Uh, this is just kind of a random house. Um, let's see. Up here is kind of like the least used area, because there's like pretty much nothing up here. Uh, there's just some farms and stuff. There is this one house, but yeah, there's nothing really exciting in there and this guy needs to to die because my iron farm can't work without this or with this guy uh but yeah above this is my iron farm which uh is pretty cool it got me all of that iron to make like that beacon you saw and like all that all that stuff in the chest so if i come down here then I go up here and i'll just sleep soon uh then yeah those are my iron farm it's pretty simple I just kind of took random torches and stuff to light this up so then mo or so then iron golems couldn't spawn in there, but right now it looks like I have no iron. I guess I'll add that in there. Uh, but yeah, because it only works during the day, because obviously at night a villager the villagers are sleeping. And this is my little AFK bed device that basically, um, I sleep in it, and then if I'm holding down right click, then, um, I go down here, and... It, I'm back sleeping in the bed, so you can basically AFK sleeping. Sleep with that thing. I'm not sure who designed it, because I watched a tutorial on it from, like, another person that saw the original one, and then, yeah, it was, like, a whole chain of tutorials. Uh, but yeah, there's just an empty house here. This used to be, like, a farm, like, that thing over there. Uh, but then I kind of turned it into this, and then this is kind of where I kept most of the villagers besides the ones in there. Um, before I... Cat, or before I uh, added the fence and then I released all of them and stuff. Uh, and then, yeah, it's just a farm. This kind of is like a double way to, for me to get out because otherwise a villager could escape or something. So many iron golems. I don't even need these guys because obviously, like I said, this village is safe. And yeah, there is, I have tons of villagers here. This is probably my favorite guy besides all my librarians is because obviously clerics give you like redstone my glowstone from them ender pearls they're just really useful uh this is my feather falling three guy that's really bad i'll probably never get that uh fire aspect two yeah i have lots of good villagers and some of them are just yeah like they don't have jobs yet and this i kind of use to indicate if this um lectern is used or not so because before i just had like random le lecterns everywhere and i had no clue which ones were being used and which ones or, like, being used by, like, my already traded with villagers that, like, I wanted to keep here. Because there's no point in getting rid of them. So, I use trap doors to indicate that they're being used. So, like, I'm not going to break these because they're already being used by villagers. And, obviously, the brewing stand for the cleric. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then, just over here. So, it's kind of like my little base of operations for the village. Take that. Thank you. And, yeah. And then, there's just a little farm out here that I... Probably should have fenced off, but I didn't. And then I made this farm. 
So yeah, that's kind of my village. Uh, there's some cats here and stuff. Oh, and then the sheep pen. That's basically self-explanatory. There's nothing really going on there, just sheep. And that's it. Uh, and we're almost done with the tour. The only thing I do want to show you is just my gunpowder farm up there. You can kind of see it. And my slime farm. Uh, those are the two farms that are the two things left to show you. And then we'll be done with this tour, guys. So, yeah, let's head up there and then down there to my slime farm. Okay, so back in this base, uh, basically, it, the slime farm, uh, if you press this button, this actually leads to what used to be my bedroom. There used to be like a bed there, but now I just carry it on me. But the slime farm is down here. And when you go down here, uh, it's, there's a long ladder. I'm going to cut that out. But uh, yeah, basically uh, what happens is the slimes spawn in the, obviously a slime chunk. Then they, uh, they go, uh, there's an iron golem in the middle. So then they go into, uh, what's it called? They go into, um, try to get the iron golem, but there's actually, um, they actually go into a pit of campfires. And then they die, and then I collect all the drops, because there's hoppers under the campfires. And, yeah, if I go... I think right here is where the slime farm... You can see it. Uh, if I just dig this out, this is gonna take a while. Let me grab that. Uh, but yeah, this is where the slime farm is. And you can kind of see it right here. So there's the iron golem. The slimes can spawn anywhere around here. It doesn't matter uh, the light level. That's why there's torches everywhere, so nothing else spawns. And yeah, there's the iron golem, so they can spawn either on this platform or down here. And they all try to get the iron golem, but then they end up just going in the campfires and burning to death. So yeah, that's basically that slime farm. And as you can see, I haven't really been AFKing there that much, but um, I will show you my slime chest because I have lots of slime. And then we'll go show you my gunpowder farm, uh, which is also kind of like a string farm because there is... I'll have to cover that up. There is, um, since, uh, it's a creeper farm, gun spiders can still spawn below it. Also, the whole reason I wanted to make a slime farm is because I wanted to make this one door. So then I decided, hey, you know what? Because I didn't have any slime balls. I was like, hey, you know what? Maybe I'll make a slime farm. And then that's how that happened. But yeah, uh, these are all, this is all the slime I have, pretty much. My life supply of slime. And minus the, obviously, my, uh, bouncy castle. That took a lot of slime, too. I think about 10 stacks of blocks. Oh, but yeah, then my gunpowder farm. If you go up here, this is kind of how this thing works, by the way. And then it, now I can go back down. Uh, oh, it's raining. But yeah, that's my gunpowder farm way, way up there. And if we go up there, I will show you basically how it works. And also how much drops and stuff I get from it. Okay, so once we get at the top here, uh, there's kind of like... It's a really long way down, or up, or however you want to say it. But yeah, um, it, it's kind of like an overview of my world, because obviously there's my village, I have my wheat field, uh, my house, sugarcane farm, pretty much everything that we've seen, and then that thing. Uh, and then yeah, up here is the most ugly gunpowder farm ever. Um, very ugly. So, yeah, this thing is pretty much full of gunpowder. This is from probably a baby zombie riding a chicken. And this thing is also pretty much full of gunpowder. And like I said, this is also basically like a string farm, because look at how much- I guess not, there's none in there, but like, there's so much string that I've gotten. And this is just like barely- this is like half the string I've gotten from this farm. I've gotten plenty more down there. But yeah, um, I'm gonna probably bring some of this back. I don't need- So, yeah. Uh, anyway, then if we come over here, this is how I AFK at this farm. So I go up this little thing. And then I'll also, also show you the top of the farm, too. Uh, basically, there is a hopper clock. That, uh... I'll show you in a sec. I don't know, you can kind of see there. I just want to get to the top really quick. Uh, but yeah, there's basically a hopper clock. And then there's some lights on top, so then no mobs spawn. But yeah, um, there's a hopper clock right there. So then, kind of, um, it just switches, and then... There's like observers and dispensers, so basically each time a water uh, dispenses out of that, then it dispenses out of the next one, the next one, and the next one, and then same with when they retract. And then this is basically where I AFK, and um, it's fine that there's no light here, 
because mobs can only spawn like 25 blocks away from you so uh yeah uh so i think that's pretty much the end of the world tour i'm gonna i'm just gonna try to think of anything else oh there is uh i am starting to build a bamboo farm there and there's like a little pumpkin area i think that's pretty much it uh but like i said i haven't been playing in this world for that long only a couple months so yeah uh i will meet you back down there so yeah i'm pretty sure that is everything in my world and uh like i said let me know if you want to see another world tour update video and also let me know if you would want to see me make videos in this world just like not really like um like a tour videos but just like um like if for example if i wanted to build a wither farm or just any other farm or pretty much anything um in this world then i could make a video on it if you guys would want to rather than my let's play i probably still will do my let's play though uh but yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys later Bye bye